My name is Hugo Z. Hackenbush. No, no, it's Rufus T. Firefly. Uh, no, it's Jeffrey T. Spall. It, no, it's Mike Hickman. I'm the writer and, and for my sins, director of Not So Funny Now. Why write a play about anything? Um, Errol Fleming's fascinating, but it's not, she is not what the play's about. So um, I've always been interested in the Marx Brothers and I've always been interested in this story because it's a scandal. So come and see it because it's a scandal, that's one thing. But what it's really about is about shame and trauma and guilt and all sorts of lovely non-funny things. Uh, and even with that, there are jokes in this. But, but really, it's a human story. It's about a person uh, left over after something really bad has happened to them and uh, she's trying to cope with it. I have watched the Marx Brothers for as long as I know. Channel 4 showed a season of Marx Brothers films in about 1984. And I was an insomniac even then. And they were on, oh, I don't know, midnight or something. And the first one I remember is Monkey Business. And I remember these four, well, actually three, uh, maniacs running around a steamship. There is a fourth, but he's not a maniac. And, um, and I loved them. I didn't realise for years that Groucho's moustache wasn't real. Um, I love fakes, I love frauds, and they're always pretending to be things they're not. I mean, three brothers, one a mute, one Italian, one a wise guy with a fake moustache, it's wonderful. Um, so I've loved them all my life, probably. Oh, the best Marx Brothers film. Oh, I'd hate to tell you which one, but Horse Feathers is really good. Uh, it depends on mood. Um, Duck Soup's the one everyone seems to think is great now but a night at the opera is a fantastic film forget what they say about the songs and the schmaltz and all of that that's what you got in 1935 out of a movie it's a brilliant film irving thorberg produced it he was a genius sam wood directed it he wasn't a genius but it's still a it's a terrific movie my favorite marx brother depends on my mood um, it might be Groucho or Julius if you, uh, if you prefer. You meet Julius in the play. Um, but most of the time, my favourite Marx Brothers Harpo, the silent one with the, uh, with the blonde wig, which I didn't know was a wig. Again, like I didn't know the moustache wasn't real on Groucho. Harpo has some fantastic Looney Tunes style jokes. Best one, A Night in Casablanca. Guy asks him if he's just holding the, the building up. You know, he's just standing there holding the building up. He nods, he walks away, the building falls down. Wonderful stuff. People should come and see Not So Funny Now, A, because it's got a fantastic cast. You may have seen them in interviews and things. Um, we've got Vic, we've got Clancy, we've got Sonia, we've got Max playing more than four parts. Uh, we have a stage manager on stage too. Huge thanks to Anne for doing that. Um, but you're going to see some brilliant acting. You're going to see people playing more than one part. Uh, Vic, who plays Erin Fleming, that's more than one part in itself. Um, it's a fascinating story. I think it's a scandal that has gone away a bit, but there's a film out there in Development Hell, and there's been lots of books about it. So if you've never come across that story, you'll find it interesting probably alarming, probably arresting. There are one or two good jokes. There are one or two genuine Groucho lines, but most of it's mean, of course. Uh, and um, yeah, it should be an interesting, arresting, surprising night out with four fantastic actors.